Well, before the sugar cane is harvested in a field, it is burned, removing the outer leaves that are considered trash. But this could be the last production of sugar cane on this land in St. James, as it's the proposed site for the $9.4 billion Formosa petrochemical plant. And the land that the plant is built on is causing an uproar after the discovery of unmarked graves of enslaved people. Sharon Levine is the director of Rye St. James, a grassroots community group opposing the building of another industrial complex in St. James. What's that like for you? That's Knowing devastating. That you live maybe I live less two than miles. Two minutes away. Yes. 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 It's devastating. And the latest revelation of where the proposed site would be built has preservationists and community members alike in arms. In the 1800s, that sugarcane field was a plantation. Documents show it was once owned by Benjamin Winchester, and hundreds of the enslaved worked and were buried there. Can you tell us what we're looking at right here? So this is a map of where they thought the Acadia Cemetery was. Pam Spees of the Center for Constitutional Rights says archaeologists with the state's division of archaeology confirmed the burial site after an independent archaeologist working on a separate project reached out. The difference is that now there is there's there is a way to to map some of these um, cemeteries. Archaeologists asked Formosa to focus on two unmarked sites, the Acadia Cemetery and Buena Vista Cemetery. Because the sites were unmarked, they believe it is the grave site of enslaved people. It's sacred ground. That's somebody, that's people that was buried there. That's not animals. And their supplemental environmental assessment statement submitted to the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality, Terra Explorations, the company contracted to do the archaeological survey, confirmed four human burials, several grave shafts, historic posts, and cultural material. The confirmed burial site already has a pipeline running through it from years ago. Uh, the other one may have already been destroyed. When we visited St. James, we noticed the area where the Buena Vista gravesite is located was fenced off. While both the state and Terra Explorations doesn't believe more surveys need to be conducted for the Acadia Cemetery, Spees isn't convinced. It's quite possible that's, that there are grave sites out there that could also be disturbed and, and desecrated through construction inadvertently. It's a possibility that Spees and Levine hope leads the LDEQ to pause permit applications for the petrochemical plant. And we reached out to Formosa to get their response to Rye St. James concerns and to find out what they plan to do with the current burial site, but we have not heard back. In the meantime, Rye St. James says they want the DEQ to not grant air permits to Formosa until the remainder of that land is searched for more burial grounds.